God says I left my evidence everywhere. And you think you have a struggle. You just gotta love it out here. It's evening, I don't know, probably five o'clock, 5.30. About a five mile an hour breeze, little, just a breeze. Crystal Reservoir, 15 miles east of Cheyenne. Just a little reservoir. Sure is cool, they stock it with fish, trout. And I'm headed down to the dam is what I'm actually doing. Never walked over there before. Picked a strange time of day to do it, but came out just looking. It's a road, it's a mile at the most, and I'll find my way back if it's out, if I'm out here till it's dark. This is Brad, sharpensbest.com. Off on another little adventure. Take you with me. Have fun. Look at stuff. You just gotta love it. I do anyway. I like cities, but I like to go there and leave. I love the mountains. I love the ocean. I'll be in Hawaii the first week of October. I'll take you over there too. This is Brad, sharpensbest.com, come along for the adventure. Go to my site, Sharpens Best, go to YouTube, buy the sharpeners, <laughs> support a guy in his retirement. I've been kind of retired for 10 years, I work hard with the sharpeners, but not like having a boss. <laughs> this is Brad, let's go on up the road. Kind of hoping to come up on some deer. Or a bear. give for a canoe or my little pontoon boat I got a six foot six by ten foot pontoon boat with a 50 pound thrust electric motor on it and man is it fun there's part of the dam I can see Is that not absolutely beautiful? Well, let's keep looking. I can come up here and camp one of these nights. Well, we got a little cottontail right here beside me. Kind of spooked him. If I'd have been paying more attention and looking a little bit.
That actually might be a young jackrabbit. He's got too tall of ears for a cottontail. At any rate, they are good eating. Tastes like chicken. Like spotted owl. Tastes like chicken. Let's see if I can take a couple of steps forwards. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought he would do. All right, let's keep going. All right, we'll slow down just a little bit. You just never know what, be, what might be hanging around. I know one thing, I'd give just about anything to have an ultralight and fly this area in an ultralight. It is so warm, so nice. One way to get down off the rock pile. Look on the map, northwest of Wheatland, Wyoming. I don't know, 70 miles. A place called Laramie Peak. I believe it's the highest point east of the Continental Divide. I worked on a trail up there that we built completely by hand. Six and a half miles long. Oh, you can drive up the canyon somehow. I wonder if it's gated off or if you can actually drive up the canyon. Rocks are slick. That looks just like Petra in Egypt and parts of Israel. Anybody for a little exercise? Well, this is your guide, Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. Go to Sharpens Best, look us up, YouTube. Buy the sharpeners, they're good. One of these days I'm gonna boat right out to that beach. And I'm gonna stay for Three days.
No, no, no. Yes. About an eighth of an ounce of pressure. Sharp. <laughs> yeah, the goofy things I do. I sure hope you have a good day. I have. I've had a good day. I got a clue in my 16 year old grandson. A little PO'd at the world right now. Took off. Uh, I guess a couple days ago. Took off out of Montana. Go up to Canada. Gonna survive up there in the wild, I guess. Sure hope you don't become bear shit. I'll keep you posted. If I hear any more from him. Off on a big adventure, I guess. I wish him the best of luck. If you're of a nature to pray and ask God for help, I'd appreciate it. Talk to you later. What an absolutely drop dead gorgeous evening. Looks like the same one. Hey little feller. Don't run away. Hi. Hey rabbit. Are you a wild wee wit a wabbit? Huh? Are you a wild wee wit a wabbit? Huh? Or are you the dad or the mom? Huh? Come here. Hey. Well, that's about 15 feet from the lens. Maybe closer. Hey, buddy. Well, let's take a few more steps and see what we get. Huh? Hi. See you later, Peter. Cottontail. Hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity. Easter's on its way. Well, this would be one of the spillways that would empty water 
before it goes over the top of the dam. And not the rock I'm standing on, but between these two metal walls, So it's actually not too far from the top of the spillway. Two feet. This is Brad Buckner, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Sharpensbest.com. The end of another day, another adventure. Hope you enjoy the videos. Take care and have a good day.